Did you refuse to die? I'm gonna speed up the process. You're about to be a split decision. Uh, Mr. President, those are plastic knives taped to your hands. These are blades! Very, very sharp blades, the likes of which the world has never seen. If you'll excuse me. No, I won't excuse you. The jury's out. You're gonna die alone, okay? And your crepey face, by the way, is a big time turnoff. For your information, I have a date tonight. My old childhood sweetheart from our old neighborhood in Brooklyn found me online and is taking me to dinner. Well, he must be a big lowlife, a dog catcher. He's probably renting. His name is Arnie Steinberg. I haven't seen him in 50 years, but I'm very excited. Fake news flash. You're gonna be a supreme disappointment. I think this is the one. If being ready for a date were an Olympic sport and I were a judge of that sport, I would give you the gold medal, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You look elegant and scholarly. Very fuckable. I'm so nervous. What if Arnie doesn't recognize me? What if he thinks I'm too old or too crepey? Crepey? Don't be silly. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, look at the bright side. If he turns out to be a teabagger, you'll have great revenge sex and call it a day. Merry afternoon, female lady parts justices. Excuse me, recently appointed and deeply resented Supreme Court Justice Neil M. Gorsuch, but aren't you in the wrong place? May I join your matronly circle? No, Neil, this is the ladies' room. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, you are most certainly in the wrong place. Well, I couldn't help but overhear that the rules of the bathroom do not allow Mr. Gorsuch to enter. Time to enact the nuclear option. Well, we gotta go. But, but I wanted to link up our cycles. Yeah. I'm still hungry. Oh, Justice Ginsburg, Justice Ginsburg we, we love you. We love you so much. Oh, Ma'am, you are you. one of the few people that is really enacting change. Thank you for being our voice. We know that, we know that you'll fight for us. Yeah. Oh, oh God, you touched it. You touched it. You smell it? Thank you. Go, go and please enjoy your... Excuse me. Enjoy. Justice Ginsburg, we're with you. We're with you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see that smile? Oh, she's beautiful. She's... A Justice Ginsburg, Kimberly, we saw you. I can't believe it. Arnie. <gasps> Ruth? Arnie, here, yeah, yeah. I have thought about this moment for so long. Me too. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, ah, my back is shot. Oh, let's sit down. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> so I've uh, been a litigator up in Boston for the last forty years. I won the Beantown Streaker case in '85. <laughs> Yeah. I've, uh, I've kept up with your career. Oof. That Hobby Lobby opinion was masterful. Oh, no kidding. Ruth, you okay? Oh, yeah. Well, no. I've waited for this moment a long time. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have to go. Is it me? Am I too old to date? No, you're more handsome than I remember. I want to be here more than anything, but 
tonight is a very important deadline and I have to go back to court. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Part of what makes you so incredible is your dedication to work. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, I mean, eventually I'll leave this restaurant, but do what you need to do. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Candy wrappers, pop cans, bags of junk food strewn all over the hall. It took a couple of minutes to put it together. All right, how long has he been here? Oh, God, hours, I think. It's, it, it's hard to say. Thank you, Carl. John? John! You've overdosed on high fructose corn syrup and maltodextrin. You're in a sugar coma. You've got to snap out of it and read my opinion. I'm so full of additives. This is my best opinion since King v. Burwell. You made the right decision then and you'll do it again now. So, oh my goodness. This is very good. Very good. The Supreme Court has announced their ruling in the latest case. Chief Justice John Roberts announced a five to four decision early this morning, which is seen as a major victory for women's rights, civil rights, gay rights, and for the entire Dukakis family. The president, however, speculates the ruling was influenced by the afterworld, Chuck Schumer, and Hillary Clinton's emails. Whatever that means. Looks like I'm not too old to fight. Or get what I want. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> now get over here. I'll be right back. <gasps> Stay right there. <clears throat> Let's just go to sleep. <laughs> 